What's going on, smart people? I start grad school for physics in just a couple months, and this is gonna sound weird, but I still haven't even taken an online test to determine if I have what it takes to be a physicist. So, that's what the goal of this video is today. We're gonna be taking a little online quiz. Feel free to take it for yourself. I'll leave a link to it in the description. But let's get started. Um, so it says that this quiz is designed by a physics major at the University of Illinois, and its purpose is to determine whether or not uh, we have what it takes. And also what type, so that's cool. Hopefully I get theorist. If I get experimentalist, uh, well, I don't need that kind of negativity in my life, so I'm, let's, let's not even talk about that. Let's get started. What type of mathematical studies are your favorite? Numbers, discrete slash matrices, abstract conceptuality slash theory, simple quantitative, I hate math. I hate math. Um, I feel like that's, that's weird categories, actually. Uh, but I'll probably pick abstract conceptualities. I don't know. Um, it's in between that and the matrices one. Definitely not numbers. I don't really care about numbers. Yeah. Sounds good to me. If you could win one prize, what would it be? Discount all monetary values. MacArthur Fellowship, first place in the science fair, an Oscar, Nobel P Peace Prize, and Nobel Prize in Physics. Uh, this is not, not even a question. I'm gonna get the Oscar. Just kidding. I'm gonna, I'll take the Nobel Prize. What is a quantum electromechanical device? Answer honestly based on your own inferences. Quantum electromechanical device. What? <laughs> oh God, uh, I think they will be able to model DNA. I don't know, but I'm guessing it has something to do with quantum mechanics. That's more of my answer. I don't know the names of things. That's always been a problem of mine. Is like you say something like quantum electromechanical advice, device. Like, if you give me more information, I'll be able to follow what that is or understand what that is. But I, the name of something like that just doesn't really. I mean, I guess it tells you that it deals with small scale electricity, magnetism, electronical stuff. But I mean, that's kind of vague too, you know what I mean? Uh, my hair dryer, probably not that one. Well, it quite, simp quite simply, its device is running on the order of 10 to the third PEV over resonant imp impedances, zero ohms with flex bridges. I actually would design these. D uh, and that's not me. No, thank you. A nanoscale device that operates extremely efficiently through magnetic resonance and is the future of quantum information. However, I know that such devices do not yet exist. I'm going to choose that one. I'm going to choose that one. I'd choose this one much faster if that last sentence wasn't there where it says, I know such devices don't yet exist. I don't, they might, I don't know. I don't know. See, I, I don't know because you, they don't define what that is. Whatever. It's not Three movies I enjoyed immensely were... The Nutty Professor, Walking with Dinosaurs, Jurassic Park, Lord of the Rings, all three, Finding Forrester, and The Matrix. I don't know what Finding Forrester is. Uh, the Matrix, A Beautiful Mind, and Pi, Half-Baked, Scream, Mall Rats, The Matrix, A Beautiful Mind, Einstein, How I See the World. I'm kind of torn between the last one and The Lord of the Rings. I love Lord of the Rings. When, uh, when Dumbledore when Dumbledore um, becomes the Sith. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna pick the second one. But then again, like, well, yeah, that's okay. I was sort of reading this as like, if you can only watch this many movies, what would you pick? But it's which ones do I like more? I think I like Lord of the Rings more than I'd like to see like a documentary on Einstein again. So I'm gonna go with that. Also, I wasn't a huge fan of The Matrix. I'll say it. If you were given the opportunity to find the answer to one of the following problems, what would it be? Understanding human consciousness, Riemann, Riemann hypothesis, what is a black hole, what's wrong with me, and UFT. I'm assuming UFT is unified field theory, but uh, maybe not. Um, <laughs> Riemann hypothesis, I think that's one of those millennium problems that you get like a million dollars if you solve it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what that is. I think... I, I feel like I'm supposed to choose the black hole one, or like the pure math one, like the Riemann hypothesis, or UFT, but I think understanding human consciousness would be pretty cool. Because I don't. 
Uh, yeah, I think that would be amazing. Although you may not have a favorite musical genre, what one on this list appeals most to you? Uh, pop slash MTV hits, classical opera, alternative rock, rap, hip hop, world slash techno. Uh, I'd probably say alternative rock, definitely. Not pop. So sick of those one five six four progressions. Am I right? <laughs> um. Anyways, in your youth, did you ever try one of the following? If not, select one that you would have liked to have tried. Tried to drive yourself to clinical insanity. Uh, design and build a fusion reactor. Rod, if you're watching this, I know which one you'd pick. Uh, collected rocks or paint, paint plant life. Blowing stuff up and burning stuff or huffing gasoline. I just like dug holes in the ground. That was kind of my thing when I was a kid. Uh, collected rocks. I feel like I collected rocks too. Definitely didn't try to build a fusion reactor. <laughs> Blowing stuff up. I feel like a little, I was just a little boy. Of course I like to blow stuff up and like, I don't know, dig holes. <laughs> I'm going to say, I'm going to say blowing stuff up. It still sounds cooler to me. Uh, if you had to spend the rest of your life with just one person, who would it be? Leonard Euler, Cavendish, Britney Spears, uh, Jacques, my boy Jacques, Isaac Newton. Spend the rest of your life with one person. I think I could learn a lot from Euler. Does he speak English, though? Because that would be kind of frustrating if, like, I spent the rest of my life with, with someone and there was just, like, a huge, like, language barrier forever. But, I mean, I guess there's still, like, translators, or I guess I could learn... What is he, Swiss? I think he was Swiss. I mean... I think it'd be kind of cool to pal around with Newton and show him all this stuff in like the 21st century and just have his mind constantly blown and be like, look at this! Look at this, Newton! And he's just like freaking out. <laughs> the majority of consent of your dreams is made up of sex, baby. Me winning things. Oh, and sex, weird unfathomable images reorienting themselves in spaces. Weird unfathomable images. Math problems from the day before. Uh, I don't really remember my dreams, ever. But I'd probably pick this one. Yeah. I mean, I've had a dream where I was solving a physics problem. No, so I remember there was like a hard physics problem that we had for homework or something like that. I had a dream that I solved it. I was super stoked. I woke up and I didn't solve it. That was, that was a bummer. Uh, question 10. Your final question. Life is... Da 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 da. My favorite class, love, fame, and money. Not sure, but I bet I can prove it. That, I like that. Who cares? I want to know T-O-F-E. Uh-oh. I feel like that's a reference that I'm not getting. Uh, I don't know, but I'm going to find out. Yeah, definitely the proof. Um, what is T-O-F-E? Time. Oh, it's probably T of E. I want to know T of E. Do you guys know something? I know. I get it. <laughs> I get it. Score me. You are the quintessential general scientist. You have the makeup to be a physicist but you lack training and drive at the current moment. Your knowledge is broad, but ultimately vague. You are the type of person that intense physicists loathe, however, because you don't portray the true passion of our field. You need to start questioning less and analyzing more. Prioritize the questions you want answered and pursue them, and stop reading Hawking books. As of right now, you'll probably just be getting a bachelor's degree and joining the workforce. Well... Got part of that right. 70% got this profile. Alright, so let's see if we can break this. Let's go back. How can we answer this differently so that we can get theorists? So I feel like, I think that one might be right. Pro Nobel Prize in Physics. See, I don't think a theorist 
would get this one. That's super specific, right? So, uh... Yeah, I think that's fair. The theorist probably likes The Matrix, Beautiful Mind, and Pi. If you were given the opportunity to find the answer, probably the Riemann hypothesis. Or UFT. I'm going to say Riemann hypothesis, though. Although you may not have a favorite, uh, what, what do you think theorists would like? I think... Maybe classical and opera? Or, or rap? In your youth, let's see, they would probably intentionally try to drive yourself to clinical insanity. If you could spend the rest of your life, they... Uh, I'm going to say Euler for this. So we're going to... I uh, swear, sure, if I get quintessential scientist again, this will be rigged. The majority of content in your dreams... Math problems from the day before. And your final question, life is... I think this one was right, too. I say right. I think this one will lead me to it. Let's find out. Congrats, you're a great physicist, but you're more concerned with theory rather than experiment. You are a mathematical physics major. You are probably the biggest nerd anyone will ever find, and you're probably smarter than 99% of the world's population. Yes! <laughs> You need to start dabbling and experiment more, but other than that, you are basically another Einstein. The Institute for Advanced Studies will be recruiting you soon. Uh, you better start taking sleeping pills to combat your insomnia, though, and get used to being single, because that's the way it is for you, buddy. 3% had this profile. Huh, and it only, that was basically first try, second try, first try. Zero deaths. Cool. Let me know in the comments section, what did you score? I, uh, so I guess, if I'm being honest, I, I got the quintessential scientist. I had to cheat to get theorist. But yeah, let me know in the comments section what you guys got, and I'll see you guys there.